Neuro rehabilitation, that's the goal. We help stroke victims, those who've lost limbs or are paralyzed from birth or from an accident. At the moment, it's prohibitively expensive to offer this sort of care, but we think 3D printing will change all that. And that? We also have another branch that focuses primarily on the industrial uses of robotics, making workers more efficient, maximizing productivity. Why is it behind glass? It's not always a good idea to mix man and machine. Machine usually wins. <laughs> it's very impressive. One day, Inspector Robots will be doing your job, too. Is that a promise or a threat? Perhaps a bit of both. Rosa was plugging the competition, mostly, but it's an opportunity to advertise what we do here. You were happy she was writing it? Why wouldn't I be? Oh, sorry. No, you're busy. It's fine. This is... Uh, DCI Barnaby. The police? Uh, the journalist who interviewed me, she was killed. My God. And you are? Where's my man? Is Jake Hannity. Jake's here helping me for when we float the business later this year, but mostly he's my fiance. And what were your movements on the night Rosa died? I was at the dance gala, and then I went home with Jake. And you were both at home all night? Yes. Was Rosa just writing about you? Uh, all of us, really. I know she spoke to my father, my brother, Ray, um, Lily, obviously, and my stepmother. In fact, I saw her and Rosa butting heads at the gala. They argued? Proper little ding-dong. What about? Lily probably wanted to make it all about her. She usually does. You don't think much of her? I try not to think of her at all. Thank you, Ms. Thanks, Mr. Corrigan, what are you doing here? Any <clears throat> <Guinea> pagan. <laughs> Let them try out their prototypes on me, and uh, I tell them where they're getting it wrong. Pretty soon you'll be able to strap on one of these exoskeleton gizmos, and you won't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Inspector Barnaby, rows of stuff. That comes to me, right? It's next to kin. When we finished with it? I wrote her some letters you know, from Afghanistan. Photos of guys who... Well, you know. It'd be nice to have that stuff back. Just the paper stuff. Uh, no hard drives or memory sticks or... No computer. I'll see you get everything. Thank you. Winter? Sir, I spoke to immigration. The tip-off about Alexei Kovalenko was logged at 6.47 the morning he was due in at Heathrow. It was sent through to them from the 999 switchboard. I've requested a recording of the call. Did they get a name? No, but it was made from a phone box in Midsummer Mallet. I thought I'd ask around, see if anyone saw anything. They might, that early in the morning. You never know. Mm -hmm. 